what's up sis welcome back to my channel it's your favorite business coach Amani Jelena and I'm back with another video for you so today as you can see from the title of this video we're gonna talk a little bit about these vendors and if you're an entrepreneur I know the struggles that you could possibly be having when actually on your vendor hunt if you guys like these type of videos definitely leave me a thumbs up that helps me know what type of content to keep putting out there for you guys but before we get started for those of you who don't want to be bothered with finding vendors and you just want to be connected with vendors i have a list available for you and i'm pretty much giving it away for damn near free so click the first link in the description and you can have access to 120 plus vendors from hair vendors to waist trainers to makeup to shoes to clothes to boutiques to raw hair to indian hair all of that stuff i will leave that in the description box for you if you want to bypass all of this and just connect with the vendor who has everything so before actually starting to vendor hunt or find a manufacturer for your business you need to be informed and knowledgeable about what exactly a vendor's role is so make sure before you actually start your vendor hunt you on google instagram and other platforms and figure out what the role of the actual vendor is because a lot of y'all put a lot of pressure one vendors and that's coming from a vendor herself so the first thing is you need to know exactly what you're looking for and be super direct with them so moral of the story is you need to know exactly what you want and find a vendor that can possibly cater to all of the needs that you have that's number one you need to have negotiables and non-negotiables when it does come to communicating with these vendors and what i mean by that is write a list of things that your vendor must have whether it's they have to ship every day all day they have to sell lashes and hair their prices have to cater towards my budget those are non-negotiables now some negotiables that you may have is maybe their price structure can fluctuate maybe they change their prices every quarterly things like that so make sure you have non-negotiables and negotiables and you actually stick with them and realistically when when we're on the vendor hunt i want you to look at your vendors as interviewees these are companies and factories that need you at the end of the day they need a clientele at the end of every business day all the questions that i'm about to give you to ask your vendors you need to make sure you write those down have them locked and loaded somewhere have them in the notes in your phone so you can pull these questions up for your actual vendors one of the questions that i would strongly recommend you to ask your vendor how long you would have to wait if a specific product was out of stock now the reason i want you guys to ask that question is because a lot of the times these factories make things by hand everything not everything in every factory but most factories make all of their lace fronts wigs lashes by hand and there's no machine doing the work so sometimes if you place a large order it can take days for that item to actually ship because it has to get made so you want to ask your vendors what are their turnaround times as far as products being ordered and then shipped the next question is you need to ask them what happens if you order a product and it has a defect in it if you order 20 bundles of hair and out of that 25 of those bundles have defects in the weft and let's say the weft is welting it wasn't constructed well hairs falling out all over the place ask them what their company will do to accommodate those issues and see what their response is the next question you need to ask them do they have an moq if you don't know what an moq is it's minimum of order quantity along with that question you also need to ask them and are additional discounts applied when placing larger wholesale orders because i want to tell you guys a secret come here the larger wholesale order that you order you do get additional discounts on those orders stop letting these chinese vendors get over on you okay just a little tip the next question you need to ask them is how often or how frequently do, do they increase their pricing some companies may say never but a lot of companies nowadays do every year every six months and they do it by very small increments like a few cents to the dollar but this question would help you a lot because you would know exactly how frequently you'll be increasing your prices as well and if that's one of your non-negotiables that's not going to work for you because with me i like to do all of my prices at the beginning of the year at least one one time in the beginning of the year one time mid-year don't nobody got time to keep redoing 
price structures. It takes a long time to figure out the margins, the markup percentages, and things like that. So to have this laid out, you'll have a, a direct idea on how much you'll be increasing your pricing. The next question you need to ask them is what are their hidden fees? Now as an example, a hidden fee would be, for instance, PayPal. If that is the payment processor that you and your vendor goes through, PayPal tax on a 5% additional charge depending on the amount of the order to every order placed through them. So you need to also figure out what other hidden fees will you have to pay for. And those could be fees along the lines of shipping. And realistically, you want to know exactly what your vendor might be tacking on that's additional from your inventory prices. When you come up with your price structures, you want to incorporate all of those fees into place so that you're also making up for those fees through actually selling your merchandise. The next question you need to ask them is what's the average turnaround time or how many days does it take in order to reach you? They might not be able to get you a target answer for this, but they should at least give you a time frame because from China to the US, if you're in the US, it may take three days, it may take a week, it may take two weeks, depending on what you're selling and ordering and things like that. It might take a month, like you just never know. And that's something that you need to know so that you know when you can actually start promoting certain things, dropping new collections, all that good stuff. The next question you need to ask them is, do they include your company's brand or your company's decorative options on your packaging or bundle wraps or bundle hang tags? Because if you order bundle wraps or bundle hang tags or boxes and things like that from your vendor, if you want them to package your items for you or, or maybe put all your stickers on your bundle wraps and things of that nature, you can request those things. So ask them, see what they say. If it works out, it works out. If that's a non-negotiable, move on to the next. The next question I want you to ask them is what payment methods that they use. As an example, they can use PayPal, they can use Western Union, they can use wire transfers. I've seen the cash app, you would be surprised. But in my opinion, I will only deal with vendors that utilizes PayPal. PayPal is the most secure in my opinion. And here's another thing. A lot of the times they ask you to check out with PayPal using friends and family. When you use friends and family, you do not put security measures on that payment because PayPal uses those payments as if they're coming from someone that you trust. So if you are going to use PayPal, make sure that you make each purchase through the business or um, business profile of the checkout. You don't have to have a business account, but just pay for it as if you're paying for it for merchandise or to a business because you do put security on that payment. And if a vendor doesn't send you what they said they're going to send you, you can always go in and open a dispute and all that good stuff if they try to take your money. The next question you need to ask them is what is protocol? What is their protocol if your items are lost or damaged through transit? Typically, when an order is mailed, especially a customs order, you have to put exactly how much that item is worth or how much that order is worth. And typically there is insurance on items. For instance, when I send orders out for my business, there's $50 worth of insurance on each package that I send out and I could bump it up if I needed to or if it was a more expensive item so that if something does happen or an item does become lost, the customer would either, either get a full refund due to the fact that the mailing carrier would pay me back for what that item was worth. And then the last question that I want you guys to ask them, and this is a big one because this one can hurt your business a lot if you aren't prepared for this. And that is, you need to ask them when their holidays are and around what time frames of the year does, does their company close. If you guys haven't dealt with any overseas vendors, typically they have their Chinese New Year's in the early um, early months of the year and they're typically co closed for around a week to two weeks depending on the factory or the company. So that's something that you need to remember because you need to remember you still have orders to send out and you will still have customers that would bitch at you if you don't put those orders out. Uh, so you need to make sure that when they are closing that you have enough inventory on hand in order to cater to your clientele while your manufacturer or vendor is pretty much 
having their holiday but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if you genuinely did like it and you want to hear more tips and tricks from me regarding entrepreneurship business surgeries all that good stuff talk about a little bit of everything and lastly if you want to bypass all this hassle i do have a 120 vendors book that is dirt cheap right now i don't even know why i'm selling it this cheap and that is in the description box it's the very first link for you but right now i'm gonna head over to instagram because i have some reels to make and all that good stuff so i'm a little busy today but this was just a super short and simple video to help my girls my sisters out there get started with their business so i wish you guys the best of luck with everything i love you and i will see you guys in my next